One. Hail to the chief, because he's the chief and he needs hailing. Oh, sorry. Wrong president, folks. Hey there, I am the Mighty Plantain, and the president I am talking about to, to about today is Presidente. This is a Pilsner style beer, Cerveza Importada. So this is imported from Mexico, I believe. Oh, wait, Authentico Dominicano. Imported by Import Brands Alliance, St. Louis, Missouri, and brewed by the Dominican Republic. In the Dominican Republic by Cerveza Nacional. Oh, so Presidente, which my ignorant ass assumed was a Mexican beer, is actually a Dominican beer. How about that? Huh. Just realized how ignorant I sounded at the beginning of this video. But you know what? I'm not going to. I'm not going to edit it because ignorance is ignorance and there is a cure for it and that is knowledge. So, let's see. It's not a twist top. A lot of Mexican imports are twist tops. So, nice to see that Dominican imports are not following that. So, Presidente... Pilsner style, imported from the Dominican. Actually, pick this up in your honor, Tony G, if you're watching, which you may or may not be. I heard about your uh, experience at a resort with Presidente, and I believe that that was a Mexican resort, which is probably why my, again, ignorant ass went and assumed it was a Mexican beer. But look at that. That is a very clear, very effervescent, golden-colored Pilsner beer. Oh, I'm loving all those bubbles that are coming up through. I didn't put a very good head on that, but you can see how effervescent it is and how very clear it is with that nice golden Pilsner color to it. September 23rd, 2020. Okay. I, I assume that's the expiration date because today is uh, August. <laughs> August. Holy shit. Time has been flying. It is September 12th. So we are full 11 days before the expiration date on this. I'm just going to make that 100% clear. But it does have a slightly skunky aroma to it. Now, what I'm getting is more of a, a hemp skunky aroma than a skunk skunky aroma. And for those of you who know the difference, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it smells more like weed than it does a skunk's ass. But it still has that skunky smell to it, but it just has that more cloyingly earthy aroma that weed does than, than skunk does. But it's, it's not a pleasant smell overall. And I hate to say that on top of the ignorant shit that I let in with and sounding like an idiot not knowing what I'm talking about with this beer at first. But the, I, you can't fake the smell. I do not like the aroma of this beer. It smells like fucking weed. Very strongly like weed. Unpleasantly so, like weed. I mean, it's crisp, it's refreshing, 
It's got a nice light mouth feel to it. It's easy to drink. It's easy to drink going in. It finishes with that that weedy skunkier smell comes through in the flavor. But it's easier to drink than Budweiser. It's got more crisp and refreshing aspects to it than Budweiser or Miller or a handful of other American beers I can talk about. And honestly, that cloyingly earthy and slightly skunky aroma that does translate somewhat into the taste, it fades pretty fucking quick when you're drinking it, so... I'm just looking to see if the ABV is listed on here. And it is not. Nope, oh, no goodness. Twelve ounces. Nope, nope, no ABV. Well, I'll say this. Um, I'm not a huge fan, but the negative aspects of this beer are no worse than any other Amer or any American beer that I've had. And they don't linger as long as they do either. Like when I drink Budweiser, and I'm talking red label, plain old Budweiser, not Bud Light. Um, I get that same skunky general beer flavor and it, it stays with me for a long time. With Presidente, I know I'm doing the dog horse thing here. Believe it or not, it works. You know, maybe five, somewhere between five and ten seconds after I swallow, the flavor is gone. So that's... You can look at it as a positive or a negative. But, um, yeah... Rating-wise, rating-wise, I'm conflicted. I want to go with a two and a half out of five, which is an average. Between one and five, a two and a half is average. I want to go with a two and a half, but the fact that I'm actually finding it easier to tolerate than a handful of American beers means that... I want to kind of give it a three. I'm going to give it a three out of five. Man, this again, it's, it's, it's right in the line between, you know, your average American beer, but the flavor's not sticking around as long. It's easier to deal with. So I'm going to give it the three, which is, again, slightly above average for a beer. Easy to drink. Fades quickly, even though it's slightly unpleasant to me. To me, you know. Maybe some of you find it more pleasant than I do. The weediness, the that skunky weediness, might be a good thing for some folks. But for me, it's it's just turning me off. But whew, pardon, not to the point where I wouldn't drink a fucking twelve pack of this pretty fucking quick. So. Um, yeah, solid three out of five for me. But uh, that's just my thoughts on it. Hit me up down below in the comments or the email link. Love to hear what you have to say about Presidente. While you're down there, don't forget to like and share the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, folks, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.